Lesson four strength. Today's lesson is about Earth. The, the place I'm not at, huh? Thank you. Really rubbing it in, aren't you? This is a powerful one. Weren't the other ones powerful as well? Well, of course. But this one is pure potential. Literally pure. Okay, okay. Glad to see you excited. Let's begin the lesson, please. Okay, Earth. Earth. How can I sum it up? Earth represents determination, empowerment, everything that pushes you forward. Earth. Earth is grounding, support, the source, but also direction of your force. Earth is your drive. Earth is strength. That's it. Eh, good to know that I know things. But bear in mind that it doesn't only refer to your own capabilities, but also to the support of your allies. To master one's earth is to be aware of where to look for potential, not to be drunk on one's power. Motherly love, loyalty, sisterhood, ah, uh, eh, eh, say, say the name. Those are also forms of earth energy. I understand, do you? Because I ain't getting it. Now, for the third part of our contract, we will seal our earth energies together. Lay the question on me. Remember, your answers will affect your fate dramatically. For the earth seal, what do you want to become your main source of determination? Love, the support of my friends, conquest, defeating my rivals, myself, personal growth and self-realization. What do I want to become the main source of my determination, huh? Love, the support of my friends, please. I don't need the support of my friends, I got the adoration of my cult. Conquest, defeating my rivals, I did say I was going to kill What's-Her-Face, the lady that banished me. Myself, personal growth and self-realization, please. I'm already amazing. Conquest, my friend, like a true human. Conquest. Conquest, defeating my rivals. You sure you're out for blood, eh? You sure are out for blood. If I don't do something with this anger, I'm going to explode. If we transform it into fuel, we'll become unstoppable. Ha 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 ha. I'm all in. Just bear in mind that you get back at Adana. You'll need to find new rivals, or... Just bear in mind that after you get back at Adana, you'll need to find new rivals, or your willpower will deflate. And don't worry, with the, with the kind of things that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, I'm, I will have no shortage of enemies. You just choose a never, you just chose a never-ending path of competition. Oh, it's a good thing that competition is also never-ending. Da da da. Now. I will seal our Earth energies together. Get ready. Ooh, it's a little sand cube. Ooh, the power. I love Earth contracts. I almost vomited with this one. Yes, Earth has a lot of presence. I've never, I've seen other witches puke right after sealing it. Hey, yeah, no, it's, a, it's a good thing I'm better than all of them. I'm one of the tough ones, then. Oh, you bet you are. You have been the first one not to cry during the ceremony. Although, we still have fire to seal. That one is painful, even to me. Oh, no. You can do this. Only one to go. Now. To the fun part, let's make a card. Yippee! 
Oh, we're going right to it. I ain't got to click it this time. Oh. Oh, shit. I can skip it. Who was going to tell me this? Who was going to tell me this? Okay. Earth cards. What do we have for Earth? Oh, wait. I'm still allowed to choose the water thing because I have those. But we are going with Earth cards because this is what it is. Moonstone Temple. Before magical enslavement was forbidden, the long-lost coven of the Jade Sculptors tasked seven major daemons with carving a gigantic temple out of a moon. The unspeakable dimensions of the temple make the witches who study inside its halls aware of their insignificance within the universe and enhances their powers through humility. That yeah, sounds boring. What else we got? Ooh, we got some combos. Ooh, Titan Quarry. Titans are said to be able to mine a planet the size of Earth in less than 50 years. Their kind is unable to hurt a soul. So, yeah, so they only mine asteroids or planets that are unable to sustain life. No one knows what they use the mined materials for. They are happy to share their ore if you ask with them with perspectives. What else we got? I, I know I got a bunch of like combo things as well. But I, I want to stick with the, uh, the way that we've been going. You know, just straight earth elemental things right now. Uh, let's go with Titan Core. That sounds fun. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, I can take this one. Seed of Knowledge. But that's not what we're doing. Come on. Where is the plain Earth stuff? Here it is. The Dragon. Born from the imagination of mortals and extinct because of their greed, dragons were known for keeping treasure and grudges. Uh, ooh, oh, forgot. It's five. Dear Folk Paladin. Guardians of the Deer Folk Witch Coven. Just like humans, male deer folk can't become witches. Unlike humans, male deer folk aren't blind to magic, and they give their lives to the service of their coven to protect knowledge and hunt traitors. Okay, so this has given us some information that it is true only women are able to become witches. Men cannot, but men are also unable to just see magic. Now, does that mean that women, non-witchy women, are able to see magic? Do they see it and just not say anything? Are men just completely in the blind? Because that's a little unfair to me. I would like to see some magic, but I can't. Apparently. What else we got? Alright, that's it. You know what, we're going... Oh, where was the other one? There's the deer folk guy. Oh, there it is, the dragon. The dragon. Alright. Golden shovel. The last bladed tool forged by the gold blower. The golden shovel is hollow so you can feel the energy resonance of the earth while you dig. That sounds interesting. Cane of sacred wood. A cane carved out of wood from a sacred willow makes grass sprout from every hole it pokes on. Even the most arid soil. Anything else? Obsidian sledgehammer. Bolts fixed to the earth by an obsidian sledgehammer are impossible to remove unless you recite the words carved into the hammer's head. They're often used to trap demons or set up camps in the wildlands. Sounds lovely. Jade road keepers. The coven of the Jade Sculptors craft these little guardians to bless their roads. Whoever walks a path blessed by a Jade Road Keeper will be free from thieves and predators. Tower Shield. There, there's a lot. Was there like this much for uh, the other symbols? I don't remember. It protects a warrior from their ankles to their eyes. A common piece of equipment for the Deer Folk Paladins. That sounds like something the Deer Folk should have gotten. And then the Iron Golem. Iron Servants of the Forge Planet. Ooh, I'll take that one. 
We used up all our Earth stuff. All right. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Look at this guy right here. All right. How am I doing this? All right. Look at that. Look at that. He's beautiful. He is serving the dragon. All right. That's a lot of points right there. Westward energies. The titans of the quarry reinforce the arcana with their ore. A symbol for the hot for a haughty guardian. The iron golem is powered by sheer determination. Excess earth energy can lead to immobility. Excessive earth energy can lead to immobility. Meanings. Guardian, ego, happiness, indifference, stagnation. Alright, cool. Look at that. Nicely done. Come upstairs and do a reading for me, would you? Now that we got three cards, we can do past, present, future. Let's go. No offense, lady, but come on. Okay, we have a three cards now. Any ideas on what to read next? Hmm, I'm going to read your desire. I want to find out what your true intentions are. You want to expose your teacher? You'll give me no quarter, huh? I'm game. Do your worst. I need to know for the sake of our relationship. Again, you're shuffling like way more cards than we got. Okay. Is this it? Is it's it's just the coven again? I guess. Okay then, this is your desire. You would like to be almighty again, great greater than this universe. You are resentful, but you don't seek vengeance, you seek acceptance. You would like to be summoned more often. You want more witches to desire you. Hmm. I would say this one, mainly because it gets us more earth things, and we currently have zero. <laughs> and I could see it being with him. You would like to be almighty again, greater than this universe. I mean, to be fair, he was chopped up in like 9,000 pieces, or however many, 999. And he's been trapped for like 5,000 years. I, I would want to be, you know, great again. <laughs> what do you mean, again? I am almighty already. I'm powerful enough to allow you to create this super powerful Duvonation deck. If this deck is so powerful, it shouldn't be far off the truth, right? Or, Aha, I gotcha. Okay, I guess I could do without being imprisoned every so often. Can't wait for this universe to end, so that I can start again with a clean slate. Is... is this universe close to its end? Ha 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 ha. Don't worry about it, master. Beings of your exist... Existential... Exis existential scale won't ever get to even sense how a universe ends. Witches are immortal. Why wouldn't we be able to reach the end of time? Witches are immortal? Okay, so... There goes my thing from the last video. Um, she wasn't cursed to live forever. Witches are just immortal. Which begs another question. Are witches just human women that learn magic? Or are they just like a different species entirely? That know how to wield magic? I don't know. You are not immortal. You don't age. But you can be killed. Entropy will get to all sentient beings before they can witness even the beginning of the end. And you? Only us, the behemoth kin, are able to unexist. Not even God resists the decay of reality. It all returns to nothing. I don't really understand. You won't. Oh. Hey, there we go. Hmm. I think I'm going to draw another card. Ooh, we going for two. Oh, for what? 
You're quite a difficult character to read. I just can't tell what your deal is. In addition to your desire, I need to ask, why do you behave like this? Oh, we are going for three cards. What do you mean by this? Shh. Let the cards speak. Again, shuffling way more than we got. Ooh, coming of age. I mean, there's only one spot we can put this in. You want to be my friend. You crave my approval. You are trying to seduce me. Ooh. You feel the need to make your superiority clear. So I wouldn't say that, but the way he's been, I wouldn't say superiority. I would, however, go with the friend thing, just crave an approval. I mean, 5,000 years. Man just wants someone to talk to, you know, like me. That's why I did this ritual. You want to be my friend. You crave my approval. You don't mince words, eh? That's just what the card said. Yes, but you're the one phrasing it. In any case, it comes as a surprise. I would never have pictured a superior being like you, needing validation from someone like me. I wouldn't go as far as needing validation. But it is true that I would love to be friends. Oh, I like you a lot. Oh, ooh. Don't make me regret not picking that second option. Well, we only have each other now, so aren't we friends already? Hmm, no. Doesn't feel like it yet. What? I, I'd say we're friends. I'd say for now we're partners at the best. But I trust that in time, we can develop a beautiful friendship beyond common interest. Or at least, I hope you don't just dump me after you get what you want out of our contract. Do I smell abandonment issues here? Yeah, probably. I mean, he he helped someone and then suddenly they just cut him up into 900 pieces. There, there might be some issues there. Come on, you know what I've been through. And I only told you a couple of stories off the top of my head. I've been put through hell. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I just find it amusing to see the forbidden behemoth of legend dealing with such mundane problems. Hey, personal relationships are far from mundane. They are one of the greatest energies of the cosmos, air, and water, remember? Kinda. Not really. True, true. I'm sorry. Ooh, more stuff. You went in for the kill with this reading, didn't you? That's my divination style. If we don't dig into the intense stuff, we may as well just have a normal conversation. You're absolutely right. I can see I won't get bored with you. Oh, on only two? Man. What now? I am the one who need that needs some rest after today's session. Go and review what we've studied so far, and get ready for tomorrow's lesson. Fire is the last seal, and almost the most trying of the energies. Very well. Ooh. Alright, what, what, what do we got to say? Do you believe your friendships will understand? Your friends will understand why you summoned a forbidden behemoth? Well, I mean, they better. You know, they sent they sent, my supposed friends sent me away for two hundred years. They better understand, or I'll make them understand. Make them all understand. Will they tell on you to the coven? Had you discovered through your fortune telling? that a fellow witch had broken this same rule. You would have reported her, wouldn't you? Would I have? <laughs> Lesson 5. Conflict. Definitely sounds like some conflict going on with this music. <laughs>